And the latest on the pandemic in South Korea. New cases of the coronavirus today again above 4,000. But overall, case numbers are gradually declining. Also a notable decline in the number of people who are severely ill. The authorities are attributing much of that to the booster shot campaign. And the government's also signed a deal for more coronavirus pills from Pfizer. Choi Min Jung reports. South Korea on Thursday confirmed 4,126 new COVID-19 cases, the daily tally hovering around the 4,000 mark for the second straight day. The figure is down by more than 300 cases from the previous day and is around 900 cases lower than the same time last week. Cases have been dropping in Seoul as well, but there are still concerns over the spread of the Omicron variant. The capital has so far confirmed 316 Omicron cases, with all but 20 imported from overseas. The number of severely ill patients has also fallen and is at its lowest level in more than three weeks at 882. South Korea is seeing an overall decline in the number of infections and patients amid the country's strengthened social distancing measures and booster shot drive. According to data announced on Thursday, more than 44 percent of the adult population have received booster shots. Meanwhile, 80 percent of those aged 60 and over had had the additional dose, and authorities say they can see impact. The number of confirmed cases among seniors is declining as more of them are getting booster shots. In the first week of December, those aged 60 and above accounted for 35.8 percent of the total infections. This proportion has now decreased to 15.6 percent. Meanwhile, South Korea has signed a deal with Pfizer to secure antiviral pills for an additional 400,000 people. Last month, the country signed a pre-purchase contract with Pfizer and MSD to buy enough pills for around 600,000 patients, and the new deal brings that total to 1 million courses of the pill. South Korea's Ministry of Food and Drug Safety authorized emergency use of Pfizer's oral treatment last month, with the rollout set to start mid-January for those recovering at home. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.